In this video, we're going to talk about inference and equivalence involving quantifiers. So for all of this, let A be an object in the domain of the predicate P. Universal instantiation is the rule that says if we know that a predicate P is true for every X in its domain, then it's true for a particular member of that domain. Existential generalization says that if we know that a predicate is true for a particular object in its domain, then that means it's true for some object in its domain. Be aware that universal generalization and existential instantiation are not valid. So what are those? Universal generalization is when you start from one object and conclude it's true for all objects. Somebody saying something like, that was easy for me, why wasn't it easy for you? Someone assuming that something that is true for themselves would be true for everybody is an example of universal generalization. Existential instantiation is somebody saying, maybe in a murder mystery, someone was the culprit. So it must be you. Neither of these reasoning techniques is valid. We also have De Morgan's laws for quantifiers. If we negate a universal statement, we get an existential statement, and if we negate an existential statement, we get a universal statement. The reason that these rules are true, in addition to the reason that they're called De Morgan's laws, is because we can think of a universal statement as a big and. For a universal statement to be true, P has to be true for this object, and this object, and that object, etc. We can think of an existential statement as a big or. P of X has to be true for this object or that object or that object. So this is De Morgan's law. When we negate an and statement, we get an or statement and vice versa. Let's put these ideas to work, proving this is a tautology. If Hypatia is a woman and all women are mortal, then Hypatia is mortal. So first things first, we need to translate this statement. Let's have A be Hypatia. Let's have P of X be the predicate x is a woman, and let's have q of x be the statement x is mortal. Therefore, we are trying to prove the statement. If all p's are q's, all right, we learned in the last video that this statement says uh, every woman is mortal, and I page is a woman, then Hypatia is mortal. Okay, so we're going to assume that all women are mortal for all x, if p of x and q of x. And we're going to assume that Hypatia is a woman. Now, notice that my proof here doesn't have anything to do with Hypatia, women, or mortality. We're just proving that if p of a is true for some a in the domain of p, and all p's are q's, we can show that q of a is true as well. Well, universal instantiation... says that if p of x then q of x is true for all x, then it must be true for a. Modus ponens with if p of a then q of a and p of a gives q of a. Therefore, if both of these statements are true, then Q of A must be true as well. Therefore, this statement is a tautology.